What's going on everyone, Mary Prince here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about all different types of Dragon Ball fans. And if Dragon Ball community is one of the strongest anime community out there, or even the strongest community in general, because people use Dragon Ball as a source of motivation for their lives, or they're just really a big fan of the show. And I myself as part of the community, I'm proud to be one, but there are certain types of fans that are out there that could, you know, you know, they're pretty good, but some of them are, you know, kind of questionable. So I'm going to go each of the categories that I have listed down and maybe some of you guys watching this video might fall into one of these categories and some may be good, some you may need to check on yourselves on one of them. So let's start off with the power scalers and I myself done power scaling in the past, but I haven't done it recently at all because um, cause no matter what you do, if you power scale anything from the Dragon Ball community, no matter what, I've done my research in the past, I try to please everyone that like okay maybe i get this from information correct i do everything right but then someone in the comments are going to say actually you're kind of wrong because that's not how that works and then they have this whole calculation of exactly how strong the power level is and it can get pretty exhausting so i kind of stopped doing that and i was planning to do more in the future but i just kind of get tired of doing uh seeing the comments which i could completely ignore but a lot of people are going to think i am not your you know e drag b drag ball fan which i'm going to move on to the next type of Dragon Ball fans are the hardcore fans are the type of people that that always correct you whatever you know get the information a little slightly wrong on Dragon Ball either no matter what they could say can you beat Goku they're the types of people that are very hardcore and they would die on that hill they're the type of people that would die on the hill whenever they make an argument so like let's say if Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen is like supposedly strong kid compete with Goku people are gonna are not gonna you know they're not gonna agree with that so they're gonna have to um make so many points like oh at least but can goku you know reach multiversal level of strength and that kind of stuff yeah a little bit annoying but kind of you know humbles the other community that you know thinks too highly of themselves that thinks they're you know way stronger than dragon ball we and the hardcore fans are the type of people to uh always correct you if it's canon or non-canon i kind of get tired of seeing that but um they're always gonna say actually it's not canon that never happened like let's say the broly movie the z the original z broly movie it's pretty cool that happened, but people are gonna say no. Oh, that never happened. So what do you mean? It's I just see it. I just saw it right now. Well, actually, you didn't see that, right? That kind of annoys me in, in some way, but yeah, those are the the hardcore fans. We're gonna move on to the opposite sides of the spectrum, which is the casual fans. They're the people. They're the type of people that you know. They're a fan of the Dragon Ball. They know some care. They know the characters. They know a bit of the lore. Like they're a big fan. I mean. What can I say? They're, you know, casual. They're not too in too deep in Dragon Ball. So if you guys are into that, don't worry. Don't be afraid to call yourself a casual because um, I myself could be called a casual, but some people that are in within the Dragon Ball community that, you know, that hears that you like Dragon Ball, they're going to call you a casual in, in an insulting way. Exactly. Uh, the next type of Dragon Ball fans are the what ifs fans. And these are the people that always makes a bunch of what ifs. And there's some good what ifs, uh, what ifs out there. Um, one of them being, what if Vegeta becomes Super Saiyan first, then Goku in the Freeze arc? I think that's pretty interesting. Or, what if Goku never had the heart virus? I think that's a pretty cool what ifs. But there's so many what ifs where, to the point where, you know, you kind of have to make up your own. Like, what if, I don't know, let's say Goku falls in love with Vegeta instead of Chi Chi. Hey, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a video out there somewhere. I don't know. They're pretty cool videos, but sometimes it can get, you know, repetitive, which right now I'm kind of seeing right now, where there's like, so many what ifs that doesn't make sense but like they got a lot of views so i at least that's doing great the next type of dragon Ball fans are the shippers you can't have a anime community without some shipping and the dragon ball series are is mostly male so you're gonna have the vegeta and goku you know shippers you're gonna have the the goku and bulma shippers piccolo and goku huh? i don't know there's a lot of fan art i mean you've if you've been through the internet, kind of, you know, it's somewhere out there. Don't look it up. I suggest you do not. The next type of Dragon Ball fans are the OG fans. And there's two different types of OG. The OG fans are, you know, the fans that are fans of the original uh, series. And they've been there since day one. And there's another one that are the, the Gen 1ers of Dragon Ball. Where they only stick with the OG Dragon Ball stuff. They don't like Super because they don't like the animation or that kind of stuff. And they're always, you know comparing the two like oh the uh, dragon ball super doesn't have the great animation that dragon ball z has the original one so they're they're kind of annoying but i understand it was a great era but you know 
it's time to move on because we're about to head into the next um series which is gonna be dragon ball daima which i am very looking forward to see that happen next dragon ball fan are the clueless fans the clueless fans are basically um they claim to be dragon ball fans and they make some sort of random statement that never happened let's say that um uh i don't know someone i feel like i found a comment in one of my videos that's they said that i'm wrong but it turns out that's not exactly what happened in dragon ball series i'm gonna put it up in there if i if i find one in my comments because there's people out there that make comments like this and think that that's actually what happened so yeah be careful with those it's, it's hard to make an argument against a dumb person because they don't see what you're seeing so you, you kind of just kind of leave them leave them on their own kind of you know leave them on their own the next type of dragon fans are the memers the memers are basically essentially trolls uh i'm pretty sure i've seen countless of posts you know something controversial and they I'm gonna, I mean, I'm, this is gonna, I'll have to show you like this. So yeah, I, for me personally, I think it's pretty funny. Some people might not see the same way as I do, but it's comedy. I think it's pretty fun. The next type of Dragon Ball fans are the Dragon Ball Believers. The Dragon Ball Believers are basically people that believe that they can turn into Super Saiyan. And I'm, we've been there at some point in our lives, you know, try to turn Super Saiyan or learn how to do the Kamehameha or done the fusion dance with your cousins or siblings and those are some innocent times but there's actually people out there that believe they can train and turn into super saiyan like goku or any other characters in the dragon ball series so yeah if you guys are one of them and still to this day uh believe that they can do it um good luck i guess i think that is pretty much all the types of dragon ball fans i know there's probably more like the cosplayers or we interrupt our program to bring you this important message Hello everyone, sorry to interrupt this video, but I have an announcement to make right here in this list, that is memberships. Channel memberships are coming soon with a price of only $1.99. Oh and if you guys don't have the money to afford this membership, do not worry because there's a, a cheaper way to support the channel and it's by subscribing because guess what? It's free. What? I know, that's crazy. So I do that if I were you, if you want to support the channel, but if you do manage to pay for the, mem the memberships, then what are you getting into? Well, let's see what we got right here. Let's all these perks. Right now, you get these cool little badges. Oh my gosh. This is how many months? What? Okay, now that one, that was my favorite. Okay, now this is crazy. But anyways, you get these badges for, you know, the loyalty. And then you get access to all of these beautiful emojis right here. You can put down in the comments. You can have access, early access, to my videos ahead of time. And you get a priority shout out in all my future videos if you are a member to the channel. You get behind the scenes footage of how I make my videos. So you can have access to my secret projects. And these projects are music. I've been making music. I've been, you know, practicing to make music. And planning to release, release them in the future but i'll put this out there in the channel memberships to see what you guys think of see how my music skills develop over the time and that is channel membership and they are not out yet because i'm still working on them and remember if you want to be a member so no it's only going to cost you 199 and i think that's a pretty good price so anyways thank you for watching this broadcast and i'll see you on the next one farewell